Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for Sorgatron.com, and this is your basic Sorgonomics. I must call it a good morning. That's the old name for this show. Anyways, this is where uh, I talk about whatever, whether it be social media, video, whatever is on my mind, life in general sometimes, and then I drop the... <laughs> I have no holder here for my Periscope, and I keep tossing them around. I'm sorry to the two people and probably more out there on the web. Uh, that's actually an interesting thing about that we could get into some other time. Um, is anybody else periscoping and like I'll be like hey like six people jumped in on your periscope then I'll look under and it has web views and other viewers and it says like 150 t checked in like on the web where the heck are they finding you but it's another thing hit me up if you know an answer to that please just just hit me up for that um, but in the meantime I want to talk about uh, I don't know how to qualify this hopefully we have a topic by the end of my discussion <laughs> But uh, this is something that um, I, I, I'm definitely somebody who tends to undervalue myself, unfortunately. Um, admission there. Um, but, uh, you know, for all of this, you know, this is all struggling to justify myself, you know, um, and my skills and everything. I've done this stuff for so long, I really shouldn't have a problem with this at this point. But... Of course, I mean, and we all know we're all out there and we all kind of question our skills. Maybe some of us, that's why we're in certain positions that we're in and everything. So I'm really kind of looking at the idea, you know, we, you know, this discussion happened. I have friends that are getting master's programs in social media. I have friends that are journalists. I'm, I'm, you know, again, as I mentioned off air to you guys on Periscope, um, I'm actually going to be speaking to a journalism social media class tonight. And um, I've been doing podcasting for nearly ten years. Of course, I've been doing this sort of thing, this conversation, this, 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 uh, uh, you know, this commentary on on life and the things that I'm interested in for so long. And one thing I've never considered myself as a journalist, um, I never even ventured to it. I'm like, no, those are the real newsy people. And I remember the distinctions before. And I had a great conversation yesterday. Um, I don't want to share the name just in case, uh, but somebody who works in the news industry. And I, how did I find myself around several people that are legitimate on screen, on paper journalists <laughs> at this point? Um, but it's great because then I do have somebody who's like, so what is the deal with this? You know, and it helps me, you know, I can, there are people I can ask questions about things like this, you know, as I'm trying to find my voice in a medium as I am currently, right? So uh, my conversation was, you know, you know, I, I, I try not to call myself a journalist because I, one, I don't want to offend a journalist that went to school. And, um, you know, how do I shape a conversation for these people going to school? Because the last thing I want to do is go and in, walk into a class and be like, what are you doing in school learning journalism? Just go out there and write stuff, you know, because I'm the expert, right? Um, because that's my podcasting philosophy. Just do it. Um, and, and the rest will come later. And, uh, and and really a lot of my philosophies, you know, of course, you know, stuff with social media. But again, I, I, I am breaking down. But, but, but let's go back to the journalism co conversation. Uh, and the conversation I had with her was, you, you know, she's like, well, you know, you know, and we'll pod camp, we're coming up on pod camp 10 this year. So we'll give this as a gauge. So she's like, well, way back at pod camp two, you know, wouldn't consider... You know, a lot of the people coming out and saying they're blogging podcasters, journalists, they were more just people trying yelling and, and get attention, right? Versus, just, and I'm so humbled by this, uh, what I do is close to the journalism because it is it is kind of a news and conversation and a presentation of the facts and, and we're, we're, we're educating ourselves because we are part of whatever we are talking about typically. We, don't, we, we I try to have people on representing different, different aspects of the tech industry right that know what the heck they're doing we have journalists come on who are working in this new space with social media and the tools including one of one of them working with a paper and has been exploring exploring a periscope before anybody else was you know and it has been doing video blogs before anybody else on a smaller you know uh, uh, platform of a newspaper right uh, i mean those kinds of things um and it has shifted. And not to say you don't need school for anything like this. I mean, some people, yeah, you know, I, 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 I've always said that, and it's funny since I have uh, one friend that's uh, going for a master's pretty much in social media. Um, I'm like, you know, when I start seeing the advertisements of, hey, we got this program at the Art Institute that comes up at 11 o'clock at night because you're obviously out of work if you're watching Friends at, at 11.30 p.m., right? Or one in the morning. And, and, you know, once I see those ads pop up, I know there's going to be a glut of people just like happened in graphic design, just happened in multimedia when I came through, because I came through school in multimedia web design around the Web 2.0 bus or Web point, Web 
the, the dot com bust. The, I guess it was Web 1.0 technically, and there was no jobs when I came out basically, unless you were a programmer. And I just that's not for me, for a major bunch of reasons. I, I'm sure I could do program. I'm very confident that I could do programming if I put my mind to it. Um, I just never had an interest. I have an interest, but not enough of an interest, I guess. But and then I look at and I'm trying to justify myself in this world where you have people coming out of school with all these things. And of course, and I know, she, well, one, she's very bright, so I know she's going to get a job regardless. It's going to kick my ass. Um, but beyond that, you know, uh, you know, having a degree, you know, does that automatically make you better at something like this? And for somebody like me, it's been at this and doing social media since PodCamp 1, podcasting. I mean, I've been doing it just on my own. Now, new people coming into it don't have the 10 years of experience. So they're getting caught up. Some people going into these programs. I mean, I'm, I was amazed by the people going into uh, web design and computer multimedia that I was teaching at PTI when I was doing Adjunct there a couple years ago. Last year, something like that. That really didn't know the internet and what it was. Not, not that I didn't know what it was, but didn't know how it worked. Like, period. Um, and I don't know if it's just me. It is just me. I, I know this is me being short-sighted. Uh, I came into school and, like, what do you mean I have to do a computer class to learn Word and stuff? Like, I already did this. And not a lot of, not a lot of people have. It's a lot of schools. A lot of people, wherever they came from, don't have as an option in school. I moved to a different school so I could get a media program and a computer program. You know, that I could learn these things without going to Votech. You know, and when my brother went to Votech. And a vocational school, uh, if you're in high school, depending on where you're at, it may call it different. And he was already having a hand in Dreamweaver and Photoshop and, and everything else. And I thought that was tremendous, a tremendous head start for him. And he was ready to go to hit the ground running when he got to secondary school. Right? Secondary? Post-secondary? Right. Um, and, and that's the thing. So, uh, I, I, well, one, you know, I'm not going to go around and say, oh, I'm a journalist, I'm a podcaster, but I'm not going to, I will show the respect to my peers in journalism. It still sounds weird to me. Um, but, uh, you know, understand that I can hang with them to a certain respect, you know, and, I, and, and the biggest thing is knowing that you don't know everything as well. Uh, and I know there's a lot I don't know. And maybe that's what's led to my my humility uh, for some of these things and why I don't put myself out there as, well, I can do this and a journalist and all this kind of stuff. Um, but got a thing going on here. But anyways, um, but also I, I think I think you shouldn't be afraid. You know, I, I, I know some people that are not. They were not a journalist in the classic sense, trained or anything like that, but they're working on magazines, they're working on online publications, they're working at it, and they're learning, right? They're very much learning in public. And and when you talk about um, startups and entrepreneurship and everything, there's failing forward, you know? I failed at a lot of things over the last year, and I'm looking to fail forward and have new projects to replace those things that failed, you know? I When you're, you're trying to become social media person, journalist, whatever, you're going to fail forward. You're going to lose. You're, you're, you learn, learn more from, from, from failing than anything else. But turned into a whole other conversation there. So um, what do you guys think? So we, in the world of citizen journalism and everything else today, um, we're in this world where anybody can pick up a phone and become a journalist. Um, and obviously not all of them should, but what does it take to become that level? Right. And at what point, you know, um, and, you know, and I always go to, do I need school to learn these things? I remember sitting in high school and somebody that was a programmer, multimedia guy. It's like, well, you don't really know to, need to go to school to do this. He didn't. And he's doing very well for himself, but it takes a certain kind of determination in order to do that. And are you built for that? Do you have the mindset for that? It took me a long time to get the mindset I have. If I had this mindset uh, 15 years ago, I would be in a whole different place right now. Um, don't know what I'd be doing exactly, but maybe I would have caught into this stuff a little earlier and, and maximized it a little earlier than I'm trying to now. Um, but yeah, so what do you think about that? What do you think about the state of, uh, of uh, online journalism and non-journalists being journalists and, and everything like that? Some of us creeping in. Um, let me know. And, and self-value. I just put that generally out there. <laughs> Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitters. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.